Hi everybody, welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a friend back, somebody we just recently met. Do you remember we met a little girl named Sasha and her friend the sloth? You remember that book? Well, they are back and this book is called Waiting on Mr. Sloth. Waiting on Mr. Sloth. Now remember I told you, a sloth is a very slow animal. So anything that Sasha does, she probably has to wait for Mr. Sloth. And as we know, even though her middle name is Patience, she's not a very patient little girl. So I wonder what happens when she wants to go somewhere and she has to wait on Mr. Sloth. We're going to have to get into this book and find out if they can have a good time, even though she's having trouble with Patience. Let's Let's see if Sasha learns another lesson today. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Waiting on Mr. Sloth, written by Caddy Hudson. Sasha Patience Pruitt and Mr. Sloth were the best of friends. One morning, Sasha decided they were going to go swimming. They would do handstands and float on their backs and splash and splash and splash. Wow, Sasha's excited. She has big plans for her and Mr. Sloth today. Of course, Mr. Sloth took a while to get moving. Come on, Mr. Sloth, Sasha encouraged. The sun is out and ready for us. Hmm, Mr. Sloth yawned, but what about our towels? Mr. Sloth does everything very slow. All sorted, Mr. Sloth. Goggles? Yes, done. Flippers? Of course. Big floaty tube, says Mr. Sloth. Yes, yes, yes. Can we go now, asked Sasha. Um, not yet. Mr. Sloth has one more thing he needs to do. He needs to use the potty. Ugh, Mr. Sloth, grumbled Sasha. You are taking forever. While Sasha waited, she knitted and read, then she knitted some more, and she read some more. He's taking a really long time. Finally, let's go swimming, announced Sasha. But swimming was not going to happen anytime soon. The little pool had hole after hole after hole. Sasha was starting to get mad, and Mr. Sloth was no help. I think Sasha's getting a bit frustrated. I just really want to go swimming with you, yelled Sasha. Let's just breathe, said Mr. Sloth slowly. And breathe, and breathe. He's trying to calm Sasha down. Sasha grabbed the big floaty tube and blew and blew and blew until she felt calmer. Let's go to the lake instead, she said. Woof, woof, says the dog. Hello, Frank, said Mr. Sloth. Come on, Frank, get back to your yard, Sasha groaned. Everything was just taking way too long. Sasha was having trouble being patient. Oh, Mr. Sloth whispered. What now, whined Sasha. A snail. Mr. Sloth wants to watch the little snail. No, Mr. Sloth, we must go now or there will be no time for swimming, Sasha said firmly. Okay, agreed Mr. Sloth. But as Mr. Sloth and Sasha arrived at the lake, they heard a funny noise. Flip, 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 flip. Our tummies are rumbling, Mr. Sloth said. Let's 
let's have lunch. Fine, Sasha agreed, but she was not happy. Now she's in a very grumpy mood. After lunch, Mr. Sloth was feeling rather sleepy. Time for a nap, he said. No, 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 Sasha raged. I have waited and waited. I am not waiting another second. And she storms off with the floaty. Finally, I get to go swimming, she splashed angrily. Finally, there's no more waiting. She splashed a little less. Swimming is all I wanted to do today, she said, not splashing at all. Except Mr. Sloth isn't swimming with me. She's realizing it's not as much fun without Mr. Sloth. Back she swam to her friend. She slowly circled her arms in a solid rhythm. Left, right, left, right. Sasha started to feel calm as she closed in on the shore. Mr. Sloth, Sasha said quietly. I'm sorry I yelled at you. I just really wanted to go swimming, and now it's nearly time to go home. I understand, replied Mr. Sloth. It can be hard to wait. I've been waiting for you. Did you get angry too, asked Sasha. A little, but I've been counting the clouds and the dragonflies, and then you came back. That sounds fun. Maybe we can do that together now, said Sasha. But don't you want to go? Swimming together? asked Mr. Sloth. I can wait, replied Sasha. And so they counted the clouds on the way home, the rubber ducks at bath time, and the stars at bedtime. And in no time at all, it was morning. Time to go swim, chuckled Mr. Sloth. Sasha and Mr. Sloth did handstands and floated and splashed and splashed and splashed. Swimming with Mr. Sloth had definitely been worth the wait. Now, Sasha did learn another lesson. She learned that sometimes doing something fun is worth waiting for. She wanted to go swimming, but she wanted to do it on her time. She wanted to do it when she wanted to do it. She didn't consider Mr. Sloth and whether he was hungry or whether he was tired and the fact that he was waiting for her too. But when they did get together, they had the best time ever because they learned to wait for each other. And Sasha learned again, she needs to be patient. Mr. Sloth is very good about teaching patience because he's so slow. And if you want to spend any time with him, you're going to have to be patient. I like these books. I like Sasha and Mr. Sloth. We have to see if I can find any more of these books. Of course, we might have to wait a little and be a little patient while Miss Dorothy goes to the library and see if there's any more books about Mr. Sloth. This has been a lot of fun, but now it's time for us to quickly get into bed. I need all my sloths to work your way under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, whatever you're doing, if you want to do something and mom or dad are busy, realize you might have to wait. And it's okay to be patient because there are many, many things that are worth waiting for. And spending time with mom and dad, definitely worth waiting for. So show mom and dad that you can be patient and just sit quietly and wait for them to be able to do what it is you want to do. And also show mom and dad how well behaved you can be. And you can do that if you obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm gonna be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye. Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you.
Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.